Hi, everyone. Rishi Sunak is the new UK Prime Minister. There he is. And aside from looking like a Bollywood actor, he bears interesting resemblance to Michael Phelps. But beyond that, who is he? You can get to know something about Rishi Sunak by this reference, according to Twitter. Enter Rishi Sunak, the Maharaja of the Yorkshire Dales, the Guru of Goldman, the Sahib of Stanford, the Begat of Budgets, the Mahatma of MBAs. And the tweet continues. The Lombardar of Lincoln College, the Fudar of Fulbright Scholars, the Pandit of Public Schools, the Patti of PPEs. According to Britannica, Rishi Sunak is, of course, a British politician. The contest to decide the successor to Liz Truss came to a quick resolution after both House of Commons leader Penny Morland and former Prime Minister Boris Johnson withdrew from consideration, clearing the way for former Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, to become the first person of color and first Hindu to lead Britain. He is arguably Britain's about Barack Obama. Rishi Sunak, born May 12, 1980. He is a conservative politician and financier. He was born into a family with immigrant roots. His grandparents immigrated from Punjab in northwestern India to East Africa, where his mother and father were born in Tanzania and Kenya, respectively. They met and married after their families migrated in the 1960s to Southampton in southern England. Sunak's father became a general practitioner for the National Health Service. His mother, a pharmacist, owned and operated a small pharmacy, for which Sunak, the old, eldest of the three children, would eventually keep their books. Later during his political career, Sunak would draw parallels between his experiences working in the family business and the values he gained from them and those of conservative party icon Margaret Thatcher, the daughter of a grocer. As a result of his parents' sacrifices and savings to fund his education, Sunak was able to attend Winchester College, the exclusive private school that has produced no fewer than six chancellors of the Exchequer. In addition to becoming head boy at Winchester, Sunak was the editor of the school's newspaper. During summer vacations, he waited tables at a Southampton Indian restaurant. Sunak went on to study philosophy, politics, and economics, the degree obtained by many future prime ministers at Lincoln Ox College, Oxford. There, he was president of the Oxford Trading and Investment Society, which provided students with opportunities to learn about financial markets and global trading. While at Oxford, Sunak also had an internship at the headquarters of the Conservative Party. And then after graduating from Oxford, he became an analyst for Goldman Sachs, working for the investment banking company until 2004. As a Fulbright scholar, he then pursued an MBA at Stanford University, where he met his future wife, Aska Murphy, daughter of Naraya Murthy, an Indian billionaire and co-founder of technology giant Infosys. Returning to the United Kingdom in 2006, Sunak took a job with the Children's Investment Fund Management, TCI, the hedge fund operated by Sir Chris Hahn, who made him a partner some two years later. In 2009, Sunak left TCI to join another hedge fund, the Lame Partners. That year, he married Murphy. They would have two daughters by virtue of Sunak's success in business and his wife's point. 9-1% stake in Infosys, the couple began to amass a considerable fortune, which would be estimated at about 730 million pounds, which is $877 million. In, 2020, in the year 2022, by the Sunday Times, some sources estimate Aka Murphy's, uh, Ash Hatta Murphy's net worth as much as 1 billion pounds or 1.2 billion dollars. In his political career, Sunak began working for the Conservative Party. During this period, he also became involved with policy exchange, 
a leading conservative think tank for which he became head of the Black and Minority Ethnic Research Unit in 2014. That year, Policy Exchange established or published a portrait of modern Britain, a pamphlet that Sunak wrote with Sarata Wajewarn, deputy head of the M B N the B M E unit. Again, the Black and Minority Ethnic Unit. In 2014, Sunak was chosen as the Conservative Party's candidate for the House of Commons, representing Richmond in North Yorkshire, a safe Conservative seat, the North of England, in the North of England, long held by one-time Party leader, from 1997 to 2001, William Hogg. In May of 2015, Sunak was elected by a commanding majority. He came into office a Eurosceptic and firmly in the leave camp on the issue of Brexit, which he said would make the United Kingdom freer, fairer, and more prosperous. He would be re-elected to Parliament in 2017 and 2019, and he voted three times in favor of Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit plans. From 2015 to 2017, he was a member of the Environment, Food, and Rural Affairs Select Committee and Parliamentary Private Secretary at the Department for Business, Energy, and Industrial Strategy. In January 2018, Sinek was appointed to his first ministerial post as Under Secretary of State at the Ministry of Housing, Communities, and Local Government. Sunak became a vocal supporter of Boris Johnson's pursuit of the party's leadership. And when Johnson became leader and prime minister, he rewarded Sunak with a promotion, appointing him chief secretary to the treasury in 2019 July. During Sunak's tenure as second in command at the treasury ministry, tensions were rising between his boss, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Sajid Javid and Johnson. When Javid resigned in February of 2020, Johnson replaced him with Sunak, who at age 39 became the fourth youngest person ever to hold that position. Almost immediately, Sunak was faced with the manifold challenges brought by the arrival in Britain of the COVID-19 global pandemic. As the British economy was clobbered by the shutdowns imposed by the government in an attempt to stem the spread of the coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, the cause of COVID-19, Sunak employed the powers of his office to try to offset the economic and human damage. He instituted a broad economic support program that dedicated some $330 billion or $400 billion in emergency funds to business, for businesses and salary subsidies for workers aimed at job retention and easing the burden of the lockdowns for individuals and companies alike. Those rescue programs were widely popular and the polished, poised Sunak became the welcome face of the government at daily press conferences where the prime minister appeared less composed. And I think that's a good place to stop regarding his biography because now you see his path to ascent. Not surprisingly, Sunak's rise to power is being called the UK's Barack Obama moment. You be the judge. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com.